I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap, I hustle trap. Bust the record, get two back, and this hub of gold caught me two pack. I'm a nut, use a blue sack. You had your chance, but you blew that. H2, two seizures. H8, ADHD. Uh-huh. Somewhere along the road came asthma. B2 out of three, it ain't phased me. For those who think I had it safely, huh? you hella mistake. <laughs> Hey y'all, happy New Year's motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, so I'm back today. Um, we want to get into a really serious topic, but real quick, let me give y'all an update. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, y'all heard the EP, I Hustle Trap. I Hustle Trap. So go check that out if y'all, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with your kid. Go fuck with my music too, okay? Because y'all be in some fake motherfuckers lately. You know what I'm saying? Um, I am going to try to, for New Year's, one resolution that I do have is I want to try to get more neutral with the YouTube content I do. You know what I'm saying? I follow so many celebrities that are just celebrities that I like. And I will continue to do that, but once the blog try to post stuff, I will try to do, you know, more other videos on other situations. You know what I'm saying? There's just certain celebrities I ain't going to give the light today. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to see me do a Kardashian video. You know, I did that maybe once back then, and it was Rob Kardashian going after Ch- Black China. So, really, it was me, you know, defending Black China because, um, I mean, she done fucked that up now. I can't do that no more than now that she's selling bleaching cream. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a part of the problem in our community and me still have your back. But back when Rob was doing that bullshit to her, I wasn't fucking with that, especially since she does the same, she did the same thing that the Kardashians did. You know what I'm saying? She just happened to run game on a Kardashian. But, with that being said, at any rate, I do want to try to get do you know more other people than just people I fuck with and also do more smart stuff like I like the video um the strawberry comment the video that I did on that you know what I'm saying I like doing that video researching it was so fun I really am into astronomy you know what I'm saying hopefully I can rekindle that for love that I have for that when I was a kid um but I do want to do some more of that and some more also some conspiracy stuff too so Oh my God, my uncle just sent me this long ass message. Um, we're talking about tracks right now. So sorry if I got to text him in between. But um, I'm going to have to read that in a second. But at any rate, um, so um, yeah, the conspiracy uh, theories. I want to get into more stuff. I want to branch out and do more things. Ooh, excuse me. Um, ooh, excuse me. And also, I want to apologize for the four videos the last four videos I did, uh, the Meek Mill video, Cardi B, and then the update and uh, first, the first video and the update on it of the referee getting his dreads cut off, or the referee cutting, having the um, kid cut his dreads off. Um, all four of those videos, the way I did them, I think what might have happened is when I switched from Video Pad Editor, that's what I use for my videos, when I switched from the one on Mac, from the actual Mac store to the one um, that's downloaded through the internet, maybe that's where the difference came from because I usually record with the open thing anyways and the only um, without using my earbuds. Now I'm recording with my earbuds. That's why my voice is clear. You don't hear no noise in the background, hopefully, because I'm recording with my earbuds. But usually I can record without them and as long as I turn the DV down a certain um, notch, at least past six, I don't really get no background noise other than if the laptop gets hot and you hear the laptop fan running or whatever, you know, the laptop heating up or whatever. And it makes that noise, uh, that annoying ass noise, which I'm pretty sure y'all done heard that in my videos before too. But, you know what I'm saying? Those last four videos, when I went back to listen to them the other day, it was like, (coughs) and it was annoying. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry. So I got to apologize for that. But nonetheless, um, to get y'all updated on what I've been doing on break. I think I did tell y'all in the last video that I pretty much, um, that I quit my job. So we're looking for, you know, corporate work. But in the meantime, I've just been relaxing, trying to take it easy on the break. I just turned 21. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm reunited with Jack Daniels and I don't have to hide it from my parents anymore. I mean, y'all didn't hear that though. (laughs) But, you know what I'm saying? Um, And um, I've been just relaxing with friends, trying to have a decent, you know, winter break. And trying to take it easy, you know what I'm saying? I've been writing music, working with, you know, my uncle, getting some singles made, working towards Revision Volume 2. So that's what I've been doing. And, um, yeah, 
So nonetheless, um, let me read his long ass message real quick. And then we're going to get in right into this video about Miss Yasmin James. Okay, that's weird. Um, sorry, he's telling me to make sure that the tracks are lined up, but I'm pretty sure when I sent them, because I record them through GarageBand and then I export them, so that automatically puts everything in sync together. But um, it hell, if I try to pull it up on Audacity, it might freeze the video editor. So let me do this video first, and then I will, you know, get into that. Um, sorry, y'all. I don't mean to include y'all my music shit, but you know, whatever. We keep it real. All right, so. Yasmin James, for those of y'all who don't know, that's the McDonald's employee who is in the viral video scene where the man who now has been identified as Daniel Taylor um, was seen yelling with, or was seen yelling with this young lady. And then he, without, without you know what I'm saying, just out of the blue, puts his hands on her. And at that point, she proceeds to get him off of her. And what he thought was going to happen went the other way. She fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? And then instead of his work, her workers, her employees, you know what I'm saying? These jobs, they love, and I've talked about this in our last video, they love to put out this, you know, we're family and, you know, family sticks together and we're workers and we stick together. They don't give a fuck about you at the end of the day. And you can see this clear as day in this fucking video. It pissed me off to see this. Instead of going to get that man and get him off of her, get him off of her. And by the looks of the comments that I had seen, one of them said they didn't even make him leave the store after this. They um didn't make him leave the store. You know what I'm saying? Not even for the safety of her, but for the safety of all the other workers. Because once you're a liability in the restaurant, you need to get the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. But I guess that only applies to workers, you know, because the customers are always right. And you know what I'm saying? Um, the money is what matters, not your fucking workers. That's why I don't like working with corporate American shit. Like this shit makes my blood boil. But nonetheless, instead of them, you know, helping her, they held her back as if she was in the wrong. As she, she swung on him first. You know what I'm saying? Now, I would never go in on black women. You know what I'm saying? I've seen videos where I've also seen a video where a McDonald's worker has pulled a worker, a driver out of the car. Now, I stay on the phone with my friend Dana for some time to time. She works at Burger King. I have heard customers get nasty with her before. You know what I'm saying? So I... I You'd get dragged out of your car, you know, because some people, they talk to you like you're not handling their food. I don't know if you, you know, I understand you having an off day, but I, I still keep in mind that people is fixing my food. You know what I'm saying? I'm very funny. I'm very charming. I'm very witty. But when I'm in like, for instance, a drive through situation, I tone all that shit down because I don't want you to get the wrong impression. Think I'm trying to tell a joke or whatever, or I'm trying to be funny. And now y'all want to bless with my food. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't seem to have that part in their brain, that common sense trait. Like, this person can do some shit to your food. They can put clean in your food if they want to. Like, shit. <laughs> I, people need to be, you know what I'm saying? And I've worked in, you know what I'm saying, the food industry myself. So I can say that firsthand. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I worked in, you know, more upskip. Like, I mean, I worked in Arby's. Like, to me, that's bougie fast food. Because um, they prices. And then only old white people eat there, pretty much. Um, it's good food. But I mean, that's pretty much who I worked around. But I worked there, and then I worked at Walmart, which I guess you could say all people of all classes shop at Walmart, I guess. And then um, then Domino's, but I was like, you know, the driver or whatever. So I worked for them tips, you know. They throw in stripper tips. I make it rain. They make it rain. My wrist is on hell. Damn, I fucked up my own lyrics. But y'all better go check out my freestyle of money. Okay, let me relax. Let me relax. But <laughs> nonetheless... Getting into this, so I'm gonna read y'all the shade room and what they said. Okay, Yasmin, 20 years old, said she started working at the McDonald's in St. Petersburg three months ago. On Monday, a customer was seen on video getting aggressive with her after she informed him that he had to ask for a straw. As seen in the video, the customer later identified as Daniel Taylor started to yell at Jasmine and attacked her. 
Jasmine said he grabbed me and that really scared me because I don't know if he had a gun or a knife or what. When he grabbed me, my main thing was to get him off of me the best way I knew. Just let me go. As a teenager, Yasmin learned how to box, and she used her skills to fight off the customer as her co-workers stood by. She said that her manager didn't come to her rescue, but she doesn't blame him because she claims they have never received proper training to deal with the outrageous customers. All of which is why she thinks McDonald's need to. And she pretty much was saying they need to, you know, work on their, you know what I'm saying, training program to deal with that. Now, um, I don't know if Yasmin still, I assume she still has a job. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Some cuss, one person in the comments says she's suing. I do believe that she needs to do that. At the end of the day, they didn't even take proper procedure after. And, and when you watch the video, you can clearly see them go, instead of going to protect their coworker, they go to pull her away as if she was the one who started this situation. I hate this shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't bully a bully. You know what I'm saying? You, me coming over and kicking a kid in the sandbox, that is bullying. You putting your hands on me and me retaliating, once you do that, once you cross that line of boundaries and respect in between us two adults, because she's 20 years old, so she's an adult. And Daniel Taylor looks about, well, he's, he's white, so his age might be a little fucking confusing because you know they age in dog years. He looks about 40, 30. So we're both adults. So once you cross that line and you put your motherfucking hands on me, Oh, don't nobody get to tell me when to stop. I don't care about this work badge or not. I don't care if it's on my right man breast or my left man breast. You know, I'm going to keep it real right now, y'all. I'm, uh, You know, I got to breastfeed. You know, I got to lose this weight. So, yeah, they man breast right now. But I, I think I've been lost in weight. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to weigh in. To, tomorrow is my rest day, so I'm probably going to weigh in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat light and weigh in maybe tomorrow or Monday. See how this week, first week, you know, has gone because I got to shed this weight. But at any rate... I don't care if the name tag is on my left man breast. Oh, that's my left one. <laughs> uh, or my right one. You put your hands on me, I will fuck you up. That's how I am. You know what I'm saying? That was and the way he what he did to grab her like that veracity, that situation did not warrant that. At the end of the day, you ask for a straw. You know what I'm saying? I don't even see the I don't even see the only way that I can see how he might have been somewhat upset is usually they'll have, you know, a place where the straws pop out. But maybe at this particular McDonald's in Florida, they don't have that. So you have to ask them for a straw. At the end of the day, if you want your fucking straw, but, um, at the end of the day, if you want your fucking straw, then you ask for it. Like, I don't understand the point of, um, I don't understand the point of how this situation got here. There is no excusable, um, there is no excusable behavior for this. It's really not. It makes me sick to watch this. And it just further proves that our black women, they do not get protected. We do not protect our black women. This video that I watched, I love this video. This event, it was a pregnant woman and this white man was trying to go off at her in a parking lot. And, um... This black man, without a doubt, he had a gun on him, too. This black man has, without a doubt, no hesitation, seen this going on and went up to um, went up to the guy and was like, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? He stepped in like a real man fucking should. We should protect our own. You know what I'm saying? He stepped in and he did what needed to be done. Now, the black woman, she made the mistake because at the end of the day, once a man steps in to deal with a man, you leave it there. You don't sit there and you know what I'm saying. Because the man hit him or something and she popped back in. And it's like, ma'am, you're pregnant. Sit down somewhere. And even if you weren't pregnant, sit down somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, we can't gas ourselves with all this. I'm independent. I don't need a man to help you. Once you get a man to help you with a situation with a man, back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You can root from afar, but back the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying she had to leave him. Because, you know, they're both black at the end of the day. I ain't saying she should have pulled off and left and went home and just let, see, you know, see it play out later on the news. But, you know what I'm saying? And it could have went that way. But the way it ended up happening is the white man slapped the black man or put his hands on the Black man gave him that one-two pop. Oh, it was good. It was good. And then white man in delusion. He hit me. He hit me. da 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 I'm telling that you have a gun, da 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 and I didn't pull it on you, but I will if, and that black man, had, he had me weak as fuck, but that's what you're supposed to do, that's what we should all want to do for our women, you know what I'm saying, it disgusts me to see so many of these 
musicians and these artists and these um actresses and actors, you know what I'm saying? They they interracially, but they down their own black people. It pissed me off. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about your preference. You know what I'm saying? You're, as Chrissy said it, your preference, preference, you know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck about your preference. I don't give a fuck who you date, but you don't need to down other people. You know what I'm saying? I've heard so many, especially being in the South, I've heard so many anti-black stuff, and I've gotten to the point where I'm tired of it. I will stop people and be like, uh, no, you don't need to say that around me. I don't appreciate that. I didn't like that shit. It wasn't funny. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck who feel uncomfortable about it. It's fucking disgusting the way that we treat our women. It's nasty. It's disgusting. The way that we treat each other. You cannot keep, at the end of the day, we we be the biggest hypocrites. Some of us black men can be some of the biggest hypocrites in the world when anything happens to a black man due to the hands of the white man. You know what I'm saying? But when it's a black woman, nobody gives a shit. And that's fucking sad. And you can see that clearly displayed in her videos. Because let's keep it real. Even if we didn't even see this video, let's just say we just heard the news come out. And let's say we just saw the girl and the white man. Let's keep it real. Pretty much at any McDonald's you go to, usually nine times out of ten, the workers are black. You know what I'm saying? They're black. They probably, you know, fresh into high school or halfway through high school. They're black. They're usually around that age range. You know what I'm saying? Or fresh out of high school, you know, in college, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. Same thing with Walmart workers. So some some things you don't even need a video videographic proof or you know what I'm saying you just may see the you know what I'm saying you can kind of put two and two together you know what I'm saying usually when I go to McDonald's that's who works there so with that being said for all them niggas to just stand there and not do anything and then grab her instead of subduing him he started the issue at the end of the day that was fucking ridiculous I hope she sues and I hope she get all her money's worth go get your bag and go start your own business boo like that's all I can say. This, this shit, it disheartens me and it saddens me to watch this. And anybody trying to say, oh, well, they were trying to hold her back. And they, no, that's not, how you, that's not how you handle that situation. You know what I'm saying? I get so tired of this time in society where we are so quick to say a difference of opinion is hating somebody. But we will sit here, you know, and as butthurt and sensitive as people can be with that. You know what I'm saying? Just because you have a different opinion on somebody or something than them, you're a hater. But as butthurt as we can be then, we will be so quick to attack the victim in a situation. It makes me sick. You know what I'm saying? This is why, you know what I'm saying, and I'm just bringing up the, this up, for example, this is why I go so hard for Cardi B. Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, I seen somebody's comment and it talked about how Whitney Houston, you know, all the drug addictions that she went to. And she said, I can't help but think it's, you know, uh, how people talked about her. Now, with that being said, Whitney Houston almost also did some questionable things, you know what I'm saying? Even the drugs aside, she dated fucking Ray J, you know what I'm saying? And I'm all for, you know, ages but a number, but some things, there are still gaps that are too wide for me, and that one was, that's nasty. <laughs> but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That's my opinion, but at the end of the day, you know, she was like, I can't help it think, but the way that just because something is some a way, that doesn't make it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, if you choose, like I said in past videos, if you choose to come at somebody, whether it's in person or online, you open yourself up for the ramifications of that. And that man got just what he motherfucking deserved. He got just what he motherfucking deserves. And I can tell you another thing. He wouldn't have tried nobody else like that but a black woman. It wouldn't even have been no black man. Let it have been a black man. He would not have tried him like that. Black men, we need to do fucking better in our community. That's all I got to fucking say on this video. I'm fucking done. Uh, let me go relax and see what's going on with this music so I can get it back to my uncle. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace, loves, and suck a nut. <laughs>